Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town where our train's a little bit tired. It's a little bit tired. He's been chugging away, going back and forwards, delivering grain to here. Um, which we can now re-enable all the drop-offs. There you go. Boom. And the grain's been coming down to here, being unpacked, being pushed into here and being converted into animal feed. Uh, this is not running at speed. Nope. Nope. This cannot unpack fast enough, I don't think. Um, or it can unpack fast enough. It can't get stuff distributed fast enough by looks of things. Um, like it can't empty its goods fast enough. So we might have to fix that. But that's okay. We, we can, we can, we can, that's, that's, that's later. That's later. Um, it's getting repackaged. It's coming down here. And boom, we have 200 and something animal feed down here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Also, the rail. Uh, rail 1 and rail 4 is fixed all the way along. You'll notice I took the rails out here. I literally ran out of rails. So I was trying to steer them from wherever I could. Once did the corners, we're up back up to 340. Um, I actually went over here and um, uh, this has been upped to 10 workers in here with double the output just because I want the rails. I want the rails. Um, but we need to fix this. So first of all, we need to sort out fuel for this guy here because he is very, very much struggling. So um, there is an easy way to do this. Uh, we need to basically put a mine in and have um, coal and water. That's what they need. They need, they need. they need fuel and they need water. Now, you don't have to use coal. You can use logs. If you want to use logs, you can use um, magma. You can use whatever. Um, I think I'm going to use coal. There is another little thing as well that is, is a wonderful, a wonderful thing here. Um, you don't need a station. You don't need a train station. You can do it with a silo, and silos are fantastic for this. So I'm going to put on here two silos, and I'm going to change these from a load um, to no, yeah, load. Load is what it wants to be. Yep. Um, and this is going to be coal. I have a feeling this is not right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm missing railroad control. Fuel loader. That's what it is. Not the same. I thought you switched the standard ones to fuel loaders. I thought that was a thing. No, you need a fuel loader. Bump, bump, like that. There you go. Bump. Um, ah. <laughs> it is. It is. It's there. I missed it. I missed it. Sorry, my bad. Um, so let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do this again. Hold on. Hold on. Bump. Right, try it again, try it again. Start from the beginning. Okay, boom. So I put a side down there and there, and they have loaders, and you can just untick cargo, which makes them fuel loaders. That's what I was... It's the same, same thing. So if this gets fuel, any type of fuel, and this gets any type of water in it, then they will load the fuel in the locomotive and will not affect the train. So if you have coal, a coal train, they will not pick up coal from here to load the train. Only the fuel. Okay. Let's put a well, um, or I'm gonna put three in because that's just an easier way of doing things. Um, bump, and then uh, you are an output. You are an output. And you are an output. Yes, okay, bump. And they'll produce water, and the water will go in here. Awesome. And then the train will come by, and boop, it gets water. It doesn't even stop. It just blump and gets it. Instant. Fantastic. Now, if we also just get ourselves a mine, I'm going to use coal because there happens to be coal just here. So let's get a mine. But um, and we will just literally run a shoot out uh, up to there and into there. But um, there we go. Okay. So that will produce coal and produce the coal we'll put in there. Now we know coal is uh, a different. Um, the different fuel sources do different things. If we mass over this here, it's not Glatellus, is it? No. Um, where is it? Uh, if I go, hmm, where do I where do I find the fuel sources? I cannot remember. Do, do, do. Hmm. I thought mousing over this told us the uh, the fuel 
thing it does not by looks of things okay um but fuel uh is yeah okay i don't know why that fuel tip doesn't come up on the trains interesting so fertilizer is worth one wood is worth two coal is worth four magnum is worth eight now the train can take a fuel type in when it takes any of those four items it instantly converts it to fuel it doesn't like store coal or store magma so you can't have more you can't like store 10 magma in there and have 80 fuel um compared to storing 10 coal and only have 14 fuel no it converts it all to fuel so this has a 20 fuel cost so it will take five coal in one go and fill its fuel up or it will take 10 wood or it will take 20 fertilizer so it's not like you can just go okay well you you store 20 coal and then that's um you know 20 times four fuel no it doesn't work that way it converts it to fuel it becomes fuel which means you also can't extract it back out again when it's done so yeah so there's that done there that's easy now i said at each and every um drop off i was going to have a fuel system um, we don't necessarily have to do that we could absolutely put these silos in between the tracks we've got spaces in between each of the tracks so a silo could feed this track and then a silo could feed these two and these two and these two and these two all the way up so we could do that we could have fuel depots places i think i will put it on the off chance because the when all trains will come down here for this one so this will be the fuel station for town number four it will fill the trains up they'll come down here they'll stop they'll go back again on 20 fuel they should be able to easily make a whole loop no problem at all no problem at all so, so yeah so okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it on this for a minute that'll be fine um you can also have a coal train going around um dropping off fuel if you have coal in a specific place you can have a coal train going around dropping off fuel into these ones because you could put another little um silo next door to it and go hey coal train drop off and go and don't wait until empty so it just drops empties and goes and leaves so you could do that that's a, that's an option um i think what i tend to do is put foresters in when i need it in situ just put a forester in and have the forester um just uh fill it with wood and that's good enough 100, 100 wood should be good enough for all the trains if not you just have the storage you just have more storage so not a problem okay so part one of this is complete now so train is picking up grain is dropping off here grain is becoming a fertilizer uh, animal feed animal feed now needs to become food needs to go back to here for food okay so you are our train for animal feed and you are dedicated to one and four so this needs to fuel source here as well so you need to go to four so if we grab Pause the game for a moment. If we grab these, so we come up to here. This is four. Okay, four is going to be left. There is no connection for one because you're coming from one. There will be a two connection, which would be right. There'll be a three connection, which would be right as well from where we are. From where we are here. Yep, three. Yep, three is technically to the right hand side because of where we are. So we'll do this, but on bottom, three is there, and then that will come back there. So so this one moves around by one. So this one is one, two, five, and six. This one will be one, two, three, and six. And then four, five. Seven would also be that way around, won't it? Uh, there to there compared to there to there. Hmm. I, I'll have to count that. I'll have to count that to double check it. But we're not fussed about that. We're just doing four now. We're just doing four. One at a time. One at a time. Okay. So let's put a push it in there and go. This is going to be four. Capital letter. No spaces. No enters. No nothing. But uh, the track should carry on as well through here um like that but um it will go four because this is only our four train so but and the four train will come along oh let's add that there but and then this wants to be I need to filter this to all the goods coming down don't i yeah you yeah, need to filter it to all the goods coming down 
I think, I think I'm still not entirely sure on that. I'm still not entirely sure on that. But let's let's for now let's just go with this. So this is going to be animal feed wants to come down here. Um, because I don't. If a train's coming this way, it should only go down here. It shouldn't come this way. So we don't need that blip there. And the same as it's going that way, we don't need that bit of rail there. But now nah, let's just leave it for it. So so you'll come up here. You'll come along here. You'll come down here. You won't come down here. Uh, you'll be on the top track. Uh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, you should be on the top track, shouldn't you? Yep, the first track is clockwise. The second track is down to clockwise. Oh, look, made a mistake there. Boop, boop. Okay, you'll come along. So we've got anti-clockwise on the inside track. and uh, Sorry, clockwise on the inside track, anti-clockwise on the outside track. You'll come along here. Uh, you'll skip that. You'll come along here. Uh, you'll come down here, but on to here. So this will want to go down to there. Okay. And this is going to have uh, an output to one, which is technically a clockwise track. So like that. Okay. So boop, and you're going to be filtered to one. So... This, uh, oh, this doesn't want to be grain. This wants to be, oh, no, this is grain. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's a grain pickup, isn't it? So this here is an animal feed pickup. Okay, and that should work. That should work. Okay. I'm going to actually switch you around and put you here for a moment. Um, and I'm going to stop you just for a moment uh, because we're going to go and build some silos in fact I'm not going to stop you now I think about it um, I'd like to keep conformant off there I'd like to do it in line with the trains if there were trains there are no trains so it'll be in line with uh, these guys which is uh, how many tiles uh, 14 14 tiles. So if we go, delete, delete, delete. 14, there's 15. Okay. So that's 14. Okay. Silo. I should put a silo on my bar. I use them a fair bit. I don't know why I haven't got them on the bar. So we'll do one there, one there. Change these to be a fuel loader. Change this to be a fuel loader. Um, I might as well actually unpause the game and have you go because these are not going to be ready for you anytime soon. Um, I should put a well on my action bar again, even though I know I took it off a little while ago. Okay, um, input, it, it, I don't need to make this an input output. I think my brain just goes, make it an output, and then I get all the information out there. But um, okay, um, don't need to because um, uh, wells can't have any, they have no input. They have no input, so it doesn't matter if they're an input output, it doesn't matter at all. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the whole forester thing here. So let's get a forester, let's go back here, move it just back behind the wells. I could just put it right there something i hadn't planned is that there might be trains here there might be stations here so we have to adjust this up so i'm going to put the um i'm actually going to do that that's what i'm going to do Boom. okay and then we're going to move you three to there go back underground get rid of this and, uh, just run the pipe through like that but okay um, and then we're going to go with uh, wood, uh, no, tree, not tree, not tree. One, two, three, and four. Let's auto manage you. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of the center row uh, out of here and run it on the ground. Um, just in case, if I need multiple outputs, then I can do multiple on top of each other. So it just it just makes more sense. So and we'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that in, at every place. So we'll change this one up as well. Um, so you can be shut down. We'll actually make this a um, a different way of doing things. So uh, let's. Um, well, we want to move all these out of the way. So move the wells out of the way. Do, 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 do. We'll let the trains do their thing. That's fine. Um, Forester. Uh, remember, put him like that. 
Boop. Okay, um, uh, plant trees. Um, I, I could literally just find some trees, um, like here and just, and just copy them. So I'll find some trees and just go, uh, copy. Thank you very much. There you go. And that copy the trees rather than going through the menus every time, um, which I should really do. I've actually disabled the quick menu in the game. I've actually physically got rid of the thing. Um, so I can't accidentally push any buttons for it. So. Um, you could also have a barn here with two, um, with, with both types in it. Um, that makes sense. You could have um, uh, a barn here with um, uh, both fuel and water in it, and uh, and that that would that would work just as well. There we go. Okay. Okay, and that'll do its thing here, and that'll be fine here. So right, you're on the way back. You have animal feed, so it works. Wasn't even looking. Wasn't even looking. There you go. Boom. So this has worked. Okay. <clears throat> the animal feed is coming down here. The train came back on the anti-clockwise track as well. Hey, 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 hey. It's working. It's a working. He comes down here. He will pick up water, but there's no fuel. Nope. There's no fuel because this is a, this, this won't be growing for a while yet. So, um... Uh, yeah, no, it won't be growing for a while yet, so can't do a great deal about that. It's gonna run. It's gonna run out of fuel. That's fine. Don't have to worry about it too much, because right now we're still in the uh, sort of testing phase. Okay, here comes the animal feed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brum, 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 brum. We have a train production line. We have a train production line. What I want to see is whether this actually is fast enough to output. We might have to double this up, and if we do have to double it up, I'll double it up on the template as well, because it looks like seems to be that way and we don't have to worry about filtering the template because this is just a packable item it just unpacks everything from the packager so here we go so you start filling yeah you are your output is filling the right way it can only output it only has one slot per item so it doesn't fill every one of these outputs up with items and once it gets to i think 20 um it will stop outputting because it can't it can't output anymore um and then um or it will stop unpacking i should say uh and then it won't fill the rest of these apples up these are designed for each each one is designed for a different type so your packages will come in to 10 and they unpack to it might be 40 then if it's 10 to 4 it might be 40 they can unpack to so um so yeah so you have to do that there um the actual issue here appears to be yeah it's waiting for no it's 20 it's 20 so this is actually stopping waiting for space to empty so so yeah i think we need more uh, although these are filling with animal feed quite nicely so that's cool that's cool you're all done you're producing beef look at that we have we have we have beef got beef we've got 10 pack beef awesome it's doing the thing it's doing the thing and i am gonna double this up boop 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 and boop and you're gonna be um let's just copy this one below this place like that there we go but on Okay. and then this will empty faster which means it's always unpacking because what that's what we want to do we want to unpack as fast as possible um in order to fill the station as fast as possible um so that's the idea uh, i should also I'm, I'm gonna leave it even actually i was just gonna say maybe we should uh, look at the um how much it requires and how much it produces and then ha have more stored than it produces but 800 animal feed should be fine um so yeah because um we've got this here for storages of the item to pick up so but that should be fine because we've also got this here which can store um the animal feed for us so we've got plenty of plenty of backup buffering storages in places you are running out of fuel that is fine that is not a problem i could very quickly fill you up let's do that let's just quickly fill you up um by doing the magic of picking the train up um, there let you go past here You'll pick up the coal from this. Yoink. There you go. And then we'll pick you up again and put you back on your track. There. Oh, that one. Yeah. Boom. Just to speed the process up. But it's working. It's working and it's automated. It is fully automated. So this train will be picking up grain. This will come down here. When this, this fills up with grain, with packaged grain down here, um, this train will then stop. It will stop delivering to it because it doesn't need it anymore. It doesn't need it. I very much could change this so that we don't 
have as much grain stored here, so I'm not doing things. But to be honest with you, um, that's not really worth it uh, because the trains have delivery times anyway. So providing we're producing enough, and this is always getting stuff in there. It doesn't matter if multiple trains come down here to grab it. It's got enough. It's fine. Let's um, let's do this one here because this one is definitely struggling um, for speed. Okay, um, copy. Hello, uh, uh, copy, paste. Hello, hello, hello. What's happened here? What's happened? Oh. I didn't actually put in a, um, <laughs> the supports for it. I'm like, why can't I not put the, I think, the supports in That's right. That's fine. Okay. So now you can output all your stuff into here, but I don't know whether you're actually outputting fast enough for the grain. It doesn't look it as if this is staying at 13 or 14. So maybe, maybe we're okay. Are these slowly filling? They are. Six, six, seven, seven. It's slowly filling. These are slowly filling. Awesome. Awesome. Throughput is going to be the biggest problem for us. Actual throughput is going to be the biggest problem for us. Um, having things like um, uh, getting enough goods in via a single belt on the packages. We can do multiple belts to the packages, but the packages can't unpack fast enough. Um, they work at, I think it's about a metal belt speed by default. You have to add coin boosts and stuff to them to make them faster. Um, and we can add steam boosters because they're on the ground because the other setup we did one was in the air so we couldn't do that so yeah um, and because they have no workers in them they don't get bonuses to um, houses being around so that's fine because we haven't done this here although the house bonus will make this faster no no, no the house bonus won't make it faster because houses don't make it faster the town center makes it faster but the town center's bonus is only at 10 percent so yeah but this is working. The output is full on this one and not on this one, which makes sense because of the way they can output things. So there's nothing I can do about that. The only thing I can do is put in the second layer. I don't feel like the second layer is needed in many places. Like it's not needed here. Um, you've run out of stuff here, but I don't, I don't think it's needed here because these produce much slower. So yeah, uh, this will need a second train. Um, obviously, it's, it's not got enough for a second train, so we're running out, so we have to see where the train is. Maybe it just needs two. I don't know. Maybe three. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how many it needs. I would like to try and get... Um, yay, trees. Um, as much happiness as we can. Like, try and go for, like, maximum happiness, if possible, with as many houses as we can. Um, and again, I, I have kind of decided that I am going to just edit the things and we're going to have um 30 houses per area uh, was it 30 uh well, yeah, yeah 30 houses per area so we're going to have more houses than we're technically allowed which means our happiness will be technically above that but that means that we need more goods in order to keep the happiness going so yeah yeah okay okay also some of these here um would i haven't factored in yet actually have to be stuff for selling to the houses because we're making we're making the meat that's fine now we're going to go and cook the meat but we need to sell the meat so one of these is going to have to be dedicated to being uh the drop off for actually having the produce actually doing something with the produce um so we need to bring the cooked beef back to here <laughs> um to do that but that'll be fine because that'll technically be another it'll be the same system it'll be the same thing it'll be a train dedicated to pick up I don't know if I will specifically do... I, I won't do one for, like, beef. Um, I think I'll probably do one per... Um, I think so. We'll have one for the food market, one for the general store, one for the tavern, one for the apothecary, one for the speciality goods, and one for the school. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Six of these we need. So one, two, three, four, five, six we need. Oh. Ow. That was me catching my nail on my keyboard. Ow. Um, which is surprising, seeing I bite them. That very much hurts. Um, yeah, uh, so we're going to need um, six of them uh, to be dedicated to places to um, drop-offs. We don't need six. We could, we could, we can mix them, match them up and, and do stuff like that. Um, like, for instance, here, this is not going to need anywhere near as much stuff as other ones will do. 
because um, animal feed, for instance, will go to multiple places. So there'll probably be quite a few trains here for animal feed because it's going to go to each pasture. There's going to be like, there's not just beef. There's also chicken. There's also uh, the other ones as well. You know, we've got, um, uh, we've got eggs, chicken, wool, leather and milk. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which is going to be all of these, which is going to feed off basically this one train station. <laughs> so we're going to need multiple outputs to it. I might actually filter it to two train stations, um, but we're going to, yeah, we're going to need multiple things and multiple trains and stuff. We might, might need more than one. So yeah. And then we have to do like demand. So if this is getting, if this requires loads of, uh, animal feed and we're not producing it we have to up our animal feed production whilst leaving in here space for doing other things and remembering that we have throughput limits so you eventually kind of get to a point where uh, you can't upgrade these any faster because they simply can't get the goods in or out fast enough so yeah so this is filling with grain which is nice this is waiting for animal feed a lot. You and you are not, you're not filling up. So it's not like you're, but I feel like you will. If the, if the grain came in continuously and this was always unpacking, I do feel like you would, you would block up. So, so let's do the thing here. Let's put in the uh, firewood ones there. Um, and I want to put in a, Paste down, go across. Doesn't require a support block, you silly bomb like that, okay? Paste down, go across there. And then I want to copy this block and rotate it round this way. Okay, and then make sure we do one there, one there. So the bottom one is pulling from this side and the top one is pulling from that side. So the bottom belt, this gets priority to put stuff on and the top belt, this one gets priority to put stuff on. Okay, does that make sense? So I don't want it pulling from, from the left, I want it pulling from the right, so I rotate it around, boom. And then I want this one here rotating, pulling from the other side. So they've both got two outputs. But whatever one puts on the belt first, the one that puts on the belt furthest back along the belt will get priority because you cannot output onto a belt if there's something on there. So this one puts on a belt, this one can't because it, it, the belt's in use. But for the top belt, this one puts something on and then this one can't because the belt's in use. So either, either both of them have got their own belt output now, but they are also sharing a belt. So their throughput is faster, technically. So, okay, okay. So I think that's good. I think that is good. I am happy with that. Let's modify this guy um, here with um, like that. There you go. And that auto auto swaps for packable items because there's nothing in here. If there was goods in here, it would ask me, "What do you want to do?" I don't know what to do. I'm confused. So. So yeah, so we'll do that. That'll work. That'll be beautiful. That'll be wonderful. I'm only leaving the barns in here because then it stops um, uh, the uh, um, ah thing going on. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am happy with this. It is working. It is doing the job. Um, you are, have no fuel. because I messed this up and didn't switch these round. So luckily you can delete the contents of the fuel. There you go. You can de delete the contents of it. And it, I think it does delete it. It doesn't send it to the base, it just deletes it. Um, okay, there we go. But on. Uh, obviously we'll have to balance the foresters depending on the trains and things. So, uh, But you'll come back eventually. You'll get fuel because there's fuel here now. Um, so we're good. And providing there's 20 fuel in there, we're good. We're good. And there's gonna be 100 plus the uh, the back so yeah that's all good that's all good okay it is working so next stage 
is beef to cook beef, which ironically goes back to this one again. So we go one to four, four to one, one to four, and then we'll go back and sell the goods. So, but that's the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>